We meet in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you. And also with you. Well, I hope you said that bit. So today we celebrate, or we mark, Monday Thursday. It is one of those most intimate of services. It is the service that shows the true nature of Jesus, the humble, compassionate, the servant, and yet the King. This is where Jesus truly teaches us what it means to be a servant King. So let us begin with a collect prayer. God our Father, you have invited us to share in the supper which your Son gave to his church, to proclaim his death until he comes. May he nourish us by his presence and unite us in his love, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God, now and forever. Amen. Now for our prayers of penitence. Our Lord Jesus Christ says, If you love me, keep my commandments. Unless I wash you, you have no part in me. Let us confess to Almighty God our sins against his love and ask him to cleanse us. Have mercy on us, O God, in your great goodness, according to the abundance of your compassion, blot out our offences. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Against you only have we sinned and done what is evil in your sight. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Purge us from our sin and we shall be clean. Wash us and we shall be whiter than snow. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may the Father forgive you by the death of his Son and strengthen you to live in the power of the Spirit all of your days. Amen. And now for our Gospel reading. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. I give you a new commandment, says the Lord. Love one another as I have loved you. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Now, before the festival of Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart from this world and go to the Father. Having loved his own who were in the world, 
He loved them to the end. The devil had already put it into the heart of Judas, son of Simon Iscariot, to betray him. And during supper, Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands, and that he had come from God and was going to God, got up from the table, took off his outer robe, and tied a towel around himself. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with a towel that was tied around him. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered, You do not know now what I am doing, but later you will understand. Unless I wash you, you have no share with me. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, not only my feet, but also my hands and my head. Jesus said to him, One who has bathed does not need to wash, except for the feet, but is entirely clean. And you are clean, though not all of you. For he knew who was to betray him, and for this reason he said, Not all of you are clean. After he had washed their feet and had put on his robe, he had returned to the table. He said to them, Do you know what I have done to you? You call me teacher and Lord. And you are right, for that is what I am. So if I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I, for I have set an example that you also should do as I have done to you. Very truly I tell you, servants are not greater than their masters, nor are messengers greater than the one who sent them. If you know these things, you are blessed if you do them. Jesus said, Now the Son of Man has been glorified, and God has been glorified in him. If God has been glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself and will glorify him at once. Little children, I am with you only a little longer. You will look for me, and as I said to the Jews, so now I say to you, where I am going, you cannot come. I give you a new commandment, that you love one another, just as I have loved you. You should always also love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Now normally we would give a sermon at this point and try and expound the Gospel story. But in this most strangest of times, and not being able to be with you to wash each other's feet in the most intimate of services, by way of reflection, I thought I would share with you a beautiful poem which was written by Malcolm Geit and this is called Monday Thursday. Here is the source of every sacrament, the all-transforming presence of the Lord, replenishing our every element, remaking us in his creative word for here the earth herself gives bread and wine. The air delights to bear his spirit's speech. The fire dances where the candles shine. The waters cleanse us with his gentle touch. And here 
he shows the full extent of love to us whose love is always incomplete. In vain we search the heavens high above. The God of love is kneeling at our feet. Though we betray him, though it is the night, he meets us here and loves us into life. That is our God, that is Jesus Christ our Lord. When we're in darkness and despair, he is kneeling at our feet and loving us into the light. Amen. So let us pray. In the power of the Spirit, let us pray to the Father through Christ, the Saviour of the world. Father, on this, the night he was betrayed, your Son, Jesus Christ, washed his disciples' feet. We commit ourselves to follow his example of love and service. Lord, hear us and humble us. On this night he prayed for his disciples to be one. We pray for the unity of your church. Lord, hear us and unite us. On this night he prayed for those who were to believe through his disciples' message. We pray for the mission of your church. Lord, hear us and renew our zeal. On this night he commanded his disciples to love, but suffered rejection himself. We pray for the rejected and unloved. Lord, hear us and fill us with your love. On this night he reminded his disciples that if the world hated them, it hated him first. We pray for those who are persecuted for their faith. Lord, hear us and give us your peace. On this night, he accepted the cup of death and looked forward to the new wine of the kingdom. We remember those who have died in the peace of Christ. Lord, hear us and welcome all your children into paradise. So let us join those prayers with those that are unspoken on our hearts using the traditional words of the Lord's Prayer. We say together, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And as we come to the end of this short service, we remember, when the disciples had sung a hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. Jesus prayed to the Father, If it is possible, take this cup of suffering from me. He said to his disciples, How is it that you were not able to keep watch with me for one hour? The hour has come the Son of Man, to be handed over to the power of sinners. Christ was obedient unto death. Go in his peace.